Hello guys and welcome back again in this requested video from this cool guy, his name is Zachary Moore, that's his username. He requested a 120 horsepower 600cc motorcycle engine, which has a 12,000 RPM engine, uh, RPM sorry. So let's start with an inline for aluminium block and since we are, since we are aiming for RPM, but I usually mix the stroke uh, so so little for, for, for the bore because I want more RPM. But since this engine is 600 cc, I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make them you know equal because 600 cc is a small engine, so you can so you can make this engine rev to 12,000 RPM without making it uh, you know has a, a very very small stroke. I mean, usually the motorcycles uh, has so little stroke. I mean, super small stroke, because uh, they, they they all always rev to fourteen thousand or even sixteen thousand RPM. So no, I'm in this video. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make the stroke higher than the bore, because I want power. So to a dual overhead camshaft, five valves per cylinder, aluminium cylinder head. Let's go with forged steel, lightweight forged, lightweight forged pistons, plus 10. Because motorcycle engines are usually built by Yamaha or Ducati or Kawasaki or Suzuki. And all these engines are very, very good and reliable. And I mean, they live forever if you, of course, take care of them. Of course, as we all know, bike engines usually have, uh, you know, super, super high compression ratios so let's start with 12 and since we are aiming for 12,000 rpm I'm gonna make a big camshaft profile and DVT for all cams plus 10 naturally aspirated direct injection throttle per cylinder performance I'm racing is good but uh, bikes has uh, air filters so I'm gonna stick with the performance 95, 13.7, lower the ignition timing a little bit, go for 12,000, plus 10, long, I don't know, let's stick with the three-way, straight through and none, or like that, because usually the bikes has the mufflers on the end, not on the start. Right, let's see, right, so 83 horsepower, let's play with the ignition timing, as you can see, it's a crappy power band so far, no, 12.5 to 1, Racing manifold, racing exhaust header, high flow three way, hmm, 600 cc with 120 horsepower. Really? Let's try and make and play with the bore and stroke a little bit. I want to make the bore. Big and stroke small, I will gain more RPM. But how about if I make the bore the smallest, the smallest thing ever and the stroke the highest thing? What kind of a horsepower we will get? No, we will go below 12,000. So let's stick to 65 and Go higher from there. So, 93 horsepower with a shitty power band. Mm -hmm. Alright, increase the quality of the pistons and increase the bore, increase the stroke. Right, like that.
Alright, so more bore equals more power. Alright, like that. 93 horsepower. 95 12.8 to 1 compression ratio right 120 horsepower is a impossible figure for this for the 600cc engine I mean everything is at its max I mean even if I, let's use 98 even if I bump the, the compression ratio 13.7, 97 horsepower only Let's hear this beast. What should we do? Inject more fuel in. Bump the compression ratio. More fuel. 98 horsepower. Racing manifold. I mean the I mean look the reliability has dropped significantly. 99 horsepower. I mean even if I inject more fuel in. 14.021 one to one compression ratio which is extremely high 100 horsepower only engine is somehow crazy I like it the sound of it is really really like a, a bike let's see if we used 100 octane and bump the compression ratio a little bit 101 with 14.5 to 1 compression ratio wow that's extremely high I mean there's no point of using Titanium or billet steel. I mean, you can make the engine lighter, yes, and you can make it smoother, but you will not gain horsepower because it's 600 cc. Let's get back to forged. This forged are cool. All right, so this is it, 600 cc, but not 100, one, not 120 horsepower. And yes, guys, good news. They fixed the problem, and now this this button bar here is back, so we can look at the engine from inside out. Awesome. And also, as you as you saw here, they fixed the vacuum gauge with the boost gauge. 
That's awesome too. guys so this is it the bike 600 cc engine but unfortunately the request was at 120 horsepower but this engine could not make more than 101 horsepower for, for its 600 cc size I mean I've tried everything racing racing parts racing manifold racing exhaust system 100 octane fuel the highest compression ratio I mean look it has good economy I mean the reliability is is very low because we have removed the, removed the air filters so yes 60.8 which is also good for a racing engine and it has a good smoothness excellent power, throttle response 12,000 12, rpm awesome and the emissions are low so I'm gonna call it 600 cc 101 horsepower racing bike uh, and I'm call it a four four cylinder DFI and a deliver camshaft VVT all right so I hope you got, really guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it please please remember to hit that like button and uh, if you are not, not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button to to see more cool videos like this one and uh, some of you guys are missing all the new videos that I always uh, post on YouTube if you want to keep keep notified of the new videos that I post on YouTube please uh, hit that uh, ringing bell button whatever they call it so you can have a notif notification whenever I post a new video on YouTube thank you so much guys for watching I will see you in the next video and bye bye